Alright, welcome to Digital Toolbox. Uh, my name is Scott, and today we'll be looking at the interface of Rhino. So, right after you've installed uh, Rhinoceros, uh, we'll be looking at the interface, uh, how Windows deals with the program, what it looks like when you open the window, uh, the command, command line up here, uh, the basic uh, command buttons, what the workspace looks like, and what these different views are the layers palette on the right side and uh, the kind of more uh, modeling specific toolbar on the bottom so we'll check that out today so first off uh, it's a, in a window just like any other uh, windows based program you can uh, make it smaller or you can maximize it and um, windows deals with it just like any other one you have uh, these basic file drop down menus file edit view and you even have some more uh, specific uh, technical tool menus up there as well. Um, right below that is the command line. This is much like AutoCAD. You can type in line or any other command that you'll learn later. And uh, it'll drop down and even populate it for you. You'll be using that for most of your uh, modeling needs. Uh, most of the basic uh, commands they even have in... Um, buttons right here in the on the top of the workspace and even to the left so this this button toolbar right here is file open save kind of basic zoom and things like that there's uh, more modeling specific ones on the left like cr creating lines and creating poly surfaces things like that and you can even render straight from one button so that could be even a, a one click render and these are, are movable you can take them and move them over to the left side if you just want to do that move them all the top if you want to do that line them up wherever your personal preference is it all uh, flows pretty fluidly uh, you can right click and it shows even more so you can pop out one just for circles and it'll uh, populate a, the new kind of just circle toolbar you can throw that back into the, the rest of them and uh, keep it there if you're dealing a lot with circles or one specific thing. Or you can right click again and just deselect that one. There's a box one up here, I can, I'll just deselect that so I don't have to look at it. And then once I have them where I like them, I can go and lock toolbars down here after you right click on the, uh, the space up there. So those are all set and you can use those a lot for quick commands. On the right side of the workspace is the layers palette, which is kind of like uh, uh, any other layers palette in any Adobe program or any other 3D modeler. Uh, items are set up in layers. We'll go into that layer later, but um, that's right here on the right side. And that flanks the, the workspace. This is the general four views that come up default in Rhino. Uh, this one thing that's really nice and powerful about this program is that you get to see your model from four different angles all at the same time. So I've, I've created a box right here, a rectangular prism, and um, uh, you get to see it from a perspective view and uh, top, front, and right views, uh, plan, elevation, and perspective views all at the same time. So that's that's really great. Uh, in the top, in the plan, in the plan views, you can in the top uh, we'll select the, this view and then you can right click to pan around uh, left click selects objects in that view and then holding down shift and right clicking uh, is pan I guess that's both both the same um, in in perspective though you can select things as well and work solely in perspective view or right click to uh, toggle around that object or shift and right click to, to pan without moving around. Uh, if you want to work just in perspective view, you can double click on perspective and you get the, the whole view takes up the entire workspace. This is really great if you're if you're just solely working in one view. Perspective uh, takes up the entire window right now, but you can use control tab and uh, using control tab you can shuttle uh, shift through all of the four workspaces just like that perspective top front right all at the same time 
if you want to go back to the four and see them all at once, you just right click on the, the title perspective up here. And um, well, you, you can do that, or you can double click on it, and it'll drop you back uh, to the four views by default. Right clicking on any of these titles, though, gives you some options such as the, the rendering you want to see it in, uh, wireframe, shaded, whatever you want, as well as uh, zoom, pan, rotating, and setting these views, the camera, and the viewport layout. Uh, if you have like two screens or, or want to float a viewport, viewport layout, float viewport enables you to uh, just take one and break it away and you can uh, size it however you want. Uh, you can just go back to viewport layout and then do four viewports to repopulate that one. So that's the basic uh, workspace interface and how to uh, work around to see see your model and what you're working on. And after that, below that is just a more modeling specific uh, toolbar. This has um, all the kind of basic modeling things that you're, you're going to want to see. X and Y coordinates for where your cursor is, the construction plane that you're using, the layer that you're in. Right now I'm in default and it says it's black. It's showing these the, the lines in that layer are black. The snap, basic snap uh, grid. Ortho snap too. I can click, I can toggle these on and off just by clicking on them right here without any command. The O snap has its own uh, toolbar that's down here with all these options. If I deselect that, O snap is off and the toolbar goes away. I can click it, click it on and uh, I can edit, or I can choose different O snap options. We'll get more into that later. And record history. Uh, these are more specific things for modeling that you might not need right away, but you'll uh, might be interested to see where they are. So that's the basic Rhino interface. Uh, we covered the the Rhino window and what it looks like, the command line, these different buttons on the sides, the layers, uh, the the workspace and the four windows and the viewports, and the more modeling specific data on the bottom. So I hope you learned something from this uh, tutorial, and we'll see you for another one. Thanks a lot.